Why do we always pick the early flights for these? <laughs> it's like 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. We are loading up. MDA is going on another trip this week. We are going on our second annual trip to Las Vegas for the International Boater Show, but we are looking forward to it. We're gonna meet up with a lot of folks that we've met in the past year and, oh. <laughs> Lana's dad's about to <laughs> run over and coming out of the coming out of the garage. We drove four hours yesterday from home to Pittsburgh to Elena's parents. They're going to be taking care of George, our dog, for us this week and help take us to the airport. So that's where we're going right now. Let's get going. You definitely look like a tourist with this fanny pack on. <laughs> it's called style. Let me see this. What is this? Well, we made it. We are safely at the link. That's where we're staying this year. We're outdoors now at the promenade, ready to get some food. They have In-N-Out burgers here, which we don't have on the East Coast. So Elena has decided we're going to get a burger. She spotted it. It's right under the Ferris wheel. The thing is large and in charge. The weather is a lot nicer here too than Pennsylvania. It's like 70 out here. It was approximately 35 when we left. The prices in here are actually shockingly cheap. I was expecting like $20 for a burger. That is pretty solid for Vegas prices. Not gonna lie, this actually looks really, really good for how much it's priced. I'm extremely impressed. That's seriously one of the few burgers I've ever seen that actually looks like the picture. <laughs> My mouth is watering. Chowing down. Yummy. Fried funnel cake with chocolate on it. Fried funnel cake with chocolate, she says. Not gonna lie, this is a solid shake. I mean, it's solid, like literally, as in it's basically straight ice cream, but also it tastes great. End of day one, travel day. After in and out we went and got some cases of water at CVS because that was the cheapest place to get good drinking water. Walked them back a good mile from the store to the hotel. Then met up with some fine folks at a built-in Mexican restaurant here in the link. It was a lot of folks from Sashco and uh, some other content creators, Perkins Brothers, Stud Pack, Big Dog Construction, guys that I've watched quite a bit of their videos. So it's always good to catch up with them and talk a little bit. They're all super down to earth people and it's great conversation. But it is now 10.30 Vegas time, which means it's like 1.30 our body time, East Coast time, and it's time for bed. We gotta get up at like six to start walking over to the convention center tomorrow, and it's gonna be a long first day of the build show, but super excited, and we're gonna see a lot of cool stuff. The morning of day one of the show, and we are making the walk. It's roughly two miles, but we're too cheap to Uber or take the monorail, and it is what it is. So we're excited to get our badges. We Registered a little late this year, so we didn't get them in the mail. But luckily they got a station set up to do that and then we'll be on our way. Made it. We are in West Hall this year starting off. It is split between IBS and KBIS, the kitchen and bath industry show. So we're gonna make our rounds, talk to some of the brands that we've worked with before, some new brands. And check out some new products. This looks interesting. <laughs> They're giving elevator rides. You want to go for one? No. All right, I'm going. Oh yeah, you can go in. Go ahead. Oh my gosh. What in the world? That's pretty cool. Wow. That is insanely realistic and it is literally just fog. And it's on a carriage system in that little disc right there. Oh my gosh. That is wild. That disc is vibrating and it creates smoke.
the lighting and rigging for some of these booths is just unbelievable. I can't even imagine how much all this costs. Champagne in the Gen Air booth. Holy smokes. Have you ever seen a leather coated fridge in your life? Gigantic leather fridge. Whoa, that is extra. Cheers. <laughs> I love the tail. <laughs> we have found our future mirror. This is awesome. This is quite the mirror. Quite the mirror. <laughs> what a day. And it flew by. 5 p.m. So that was a solid eight hours of standing, talking, walking around, and we didn't even make it out of West Hall. We were in the same building all day. Still Central and South Hall yet to do tomorrow. But today we really focused on kitchen and bath stuff. That's pretty much all of West Hall, the kitchen and bath industry show, countertops, appliances, fireplaces. Finishes, yeah. Final finishes. Tomorrow we're gonna go to the other buildings and check out everything there. Yep, flew by, our feet are already sore. We are on the way to dinner with Rockwool tonight over in the Venetian. Uh, we did the same little dinner cocktail hour last year. And so we had a great time. Figured we'd do a repeat this year. dragon that's really cool we're at tad early to the venetian for the dinner so we are resting our poor feet how those babies doing not good not good but look at this amazing tile holy smokes and it goes on absolutely forever look at the ceilings in here i heard they like flew in some amazing artist to paint these clouds on the venetian ceiling these are like all the way down the mall. This goes on for seemingly forever. Literally no expense was spared in the making of these hotels. Everything is curved and tile and masonry and just really, really beautiful. Oh my gosh, end of day one of IBS. We are uh, pretty beat after this one, but two more left to come. So we will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Day two. Today we are tackling Central and South Halls. It is a little bit overwhelming how many booths are here as usual, but we still got two full days. So let's do it. First stop of the day. Sashko booth. Oh my gosh, this is too much. Let her rip. <laughs> oh, she's pulling me. This is exact color. It is a tintable caulk. So we have a beautiful array of siding. I'm gonna give an autograph here with, this color is called Mellow Spring. It'll dry the same color as the siding itself. It comes out a little bit lighter when it's wet, but once it's dry, it'll match perfectly. And that's the beauty of exact color. All you need is a sample of the paint. You mix it in with the caulk and you have an exact matched caulk. You don't need any special order caulk or anything like that. Now Lane is giving her shot at it. <laughs> You gotta leave room for MDA, or we're gonna put Mason Dixon Acres. Well, how are they supposed to do that? Like a true professional. We'll see how Paul's. Uh, we'll see how Paul's signature compares to to mine over here. Here's behind the scenes of of how this stuff's actually made. <laughs> I love this. Beauty of a garage door. Looks really good. This is a brand new innovation from Clope, VertiStack doors. Does not use the traditional garage door track. It basically works a little bit like a rolling door where it all just sort of nests. Look at that. 
That is insanity. That is so cool. No track. Oh my gosh. Can he break the smart side? Oh wow, that's impressive. That was quick. You can really take just a little bit off if you want to. Very Makes cool. A nice clean cut too. Just attaches to the impact. Yeah, I like it. You have your hand right here, just can't hit the timer. Once you hit the timer, you pick up many screws you want. Five screws to stop the timer. Right, right, Anything right. under 17 seconds, you get free tape measure. Fastest time so far has been 11.20 today. I think I was like around 10 last back year. Back off or you want to do it? Back, got, got to unweight for this one. Just like last year. See if I beat my time from last year. I don't remember what it was, but I got it on film. All right. Legitimately built a full house in here. Here's our range hood insert. We'll be installing that in uh, just a little bit. Here is the bath fan we're about to be putting in. Multicolor. See if we can get it to change. Trying to figure out bath fan. Oh, there we go. Now oh, there's multicolored mode. And that's a wireless switch too, which is pretty neat. So the fan we have doesn't do this, but check this out. Hey Alexa. I'm having trouble connecting to the I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. This is a really good visual of the overture system that we're putting in. So we have a Broen uh, power pack insert. It's going to go in our, our custom range hood, but we have it wired up to this wall control that senses indoor air quality and keeps a constant tab on air quality. It actually keeps all historical data too. So in the app, we can actually pull this up and see what our indoor air quality has looked like, if there's any spikes, dips, and try to figure out why that might be the case. This also works as a regular wall control for the range hood as well. We have ours wired up to a double gang just because it's got a plug next to it, but it's both a sensor and a switch. And having all that historical data, I think it's gonna be a really cool feature long-term for our house. Holy smokes. That is unbelievable. These guys definitely stepped their game up. They did not have a booth like this last year. Open it up. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> didn't, didn't see that coming. All right, we got a fun event going on at Sashko right now. A little bit of a, a little bit of a challenge for the Perkins brothers. All right, here's the idea here. Eric and Jamie are going to, I guess, pull some stuff out of their tool belts. The crowd yeah. is yeah. going to vote. They have to get it out and do some kind of style something. And then we vote who's the winner, who did it the best with the most style, via the paddle. <laughs> Two, All right. Number three, one. Four, five. All right, let's go. Turn. Take measure. Take measure. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. New from Aqua, a hot and cold mixing valve hose bib. We did hot and cold hydrants side by side, and I actually like that more for our purposes since we'll be hooking up to an outdoor sink. But this is great if you just want to have one outlet and change the temperature. That goes in a lot smaller. Oh, there's no water pressure behind it. I was like, I was like, ours go. We let you down during the IR. CNC rock wool comfort board. I love it. We're going to check the sound tunnel out. Hey, attention, please. Time now is 448. Oh my gosh. You can't hear a gosh darn thing in here. Oh wow, this is cool. Isn't it weird? You get that weird, like, you get like goosebumps from it. It's like goosebumps coming through this because it's like all of a sudden extremely quiet. In our interior walls, we're going to talk about some fireproof applications too. Um, I was also a 10-year firefighter before I was a builder. So I was a paramedic fireman, so I got to see a lot of terrible construction burn very fast. So, so when noise knocks off of this wall assembly, it's, it's got flex there where it's not transmitting through to the studs. That night, Sashko hosted a trade teacher appreciation dinner to say thanks to all the folks teaching the next generation of builders and those who work with their hands. This is Les Birch, the owner of Sashko. We really appreciate you coming here. The 
size of this crowd is unbelievable. So this, is, this thing is growing exponentially. And one of the things I really love is that trade schools are, for the most part, struggling. You know, it's, it's hard to get your support, your resources, the things that you need to really show your students what, what building is all about. And you've got to do projects, and they're costly. So this is great where you can share and collaborate with each other. And probably the biggest value here is to get with other tradespeople and, and share those ideas because you're figuring out how to solve problems and to train more students. So welcome here. We love you to be here and uh, have a good time. There's a few really big stars in the room. I mean, if you think about, look at that in this corner. We've got Kyle with a million subscribers on YouTube. We've got the Perkins brothers. The next week we'll have a million subscribers. All of your students are watching Tim Euler, awesome framer. Woo! But if you if you back up 10 or 20 decades, or 10, 20 years, I should say. Years back, none of us are on. Okay, so 20 years ago, for the old guy builders like me, there was not social media, there was not YouTube, right? My kids, if Tom Cruise walked in the door of our house, they'd be like, hey, God, some old dude's here to see you. Right? They have no idea who these people are because they know YouTube people. My kids watch nothing but YouTube. Now, some of us have stumbled upon YouTube, which has been good for us, right? But the old guy builders in the room like me, we didn't have any of that. We either watched Tom Silva on this old house. We never met Tom Silva. We just thought he was a stud and was amazing at what he did. But we read magazines. I don't know if your students know what that is, but it's this piece of paper that's glossy and has photos and Matt went on to give an honor to Gary Striegler, longtime trade teacher and contributor to Fine Home Building, who was coincidentally turning 65 on the same night. Not long after this, the night turned to hallway yoga led by none other than Travis from Catalyst Bill. All right, the sash code dinner has gotten out of hand. We are now in yoga classes. <laughs> Travis Brunkard is a, a closet yoga teacher and we had no clue. He knows what he's doing. Wow, okay, day two was a blur, just like day one. Pretty much got through all of Central Hall, but it went by really quick. Then Sashko hosted a really nice dinner for a trade teacher appreciation. Invited a lot of trade teachers from around the country to come participate and hang out. Uh, Matt Reisinger and all the other social media folks were doing a little bit of talking and it was a really awesome time. So we pretty much shut it down <laughs> and we were there till like probably 11 o'clock before we just went up. Luckily it was in the hotel, so not too bad of a commute to the dinner. So we're on the way for day three today. We're gonna be tackling South Hall and looking forward to it. Elena walks by and goes, look at the duck. Look at that duck. What a beautiful duck. Got a video of the duck. I don't want anyone to miss out on that. Can't miss out on the duck. We're gonna try something a little bit different this morning because our feet are killing us. We're gonna do the Tesla underground loop. I guess it's not self-driven, but we just hop in a Tesla that goes underground on a track of some sort and takes us to South Hall, which is another half mile away or so. Saves us some steps. It's pretty cool. All Teslas. Yeah, Elon Musk owns the car. Where are you guys heading to? Uh, Central. Central, please. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is scary. It is literally a concrete tube. It's super cool. Is the car driving itself right now, or are you driving? You're driving, okay. Whoa. Well, we have arrived and that saved us a heck of a lot of walking time. <laughs> Our feet are burnt and this was a lifesaver. Sweet. This is literally the stairway to heaven. Holy smokes. Well, that's neat. This is the old castle booth and they have a tree of brands. This is actually where we're gonna be getting our decking through. This is the exact type of decking we're doing, Meridian is what it's called, in the shore side color. I think it's cast concrete. We want to do a paver driveway eventually too, so we are kind of scoping out some of the options for that. Wow. That's beautiful. Sell them in these convenient packs, so again, no guesswork, eight or nails, one fuel cell, or 1600. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah. really cool. 
This is a positive placement gun. Just put that little guy right where you need it. That's amazing. Yeah, super powerful, really lightweight, about six and a half pounds. Bolt with a, with a quarter inch hex drive in it. That's neat. So you can reuse the bit. Pop that on. Automatic alignment right there. Once it locks up, it'll twist. Oh, I see what you mean. But now you it, don't have to have a second person. You, you now have a wrench on the thing. Right. Yeah. Basically, this side, the, the non linered side, is the same as our frog cape yellow. Okay. So it's Very sensitive surfaces. Hand. Yep, exactly. So easily hand tears. That is awesome. Seal this down. And you hang your poly. And you can you can feel how how sticky this is. So this is this is a very aggressive adhesive for duct tape. Oh, this looks familiar. <laughs> this is in our near future. The IS20. We have yet to do that on our windows. I haven't seen one of these in person yet. Oh, nice. Oh, that's super cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's deformed like crazy. That's amazing. Around a thousand pounds of force. Seriously. And very quickly, like yeah, the actual, five, the energy expenditure is a lot. Look at the, that capacitor in there, thing's gigantic. This is a RS-232 uh, cable port. What does one of these cartridges cost? $99. 100 bucks. Worth it. What's a, what's a hospital bill cost? <laughs> the new Diamondback buckle. No more Cobra buckle. Have you found your next set of overalls? Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. Uh-oh, she found the sauna. Oh, I was expecting it to be hot in here. You thought it was going to be hot? I thought they were going to have it on. All right, the annual stop at the Kohler booth. Let's see what they did this year. It's literally the size of a city block. <laughs> I mean, that's the end all the way down there. This is a marketing booth, but this is unbelievable literally a city feels like they literally built a commercial building in here i mean that's that's the end of it over there holy smokes got hard surface flooring in here and everything i think we saw something similar to this last year like what oh my gosh it's a chocolate it is a chocolate Interesting. I got white chocolate. That could come in handy for sure. The Huber Woods booth is always a big attraction. Unfortunately, we missed their Best of Social Awards this year, which is always a highlight of the show. But we did make an effort to get a little selfie video with everyone else we ran across in the construction social media world. We're at Sherwin-Williams to get the obligatory nail polish color of the year. Upward, that's what it's called. This is actual crocodile leather up here. It's, I've heard it's a faux. Uh, oh, it is faux, okay. It is, bad look. And this is a $100,000 plus range, something like that. Yep. That is just too much. And honestly, the dials don't look How do you work super it? intuitive. How do you open it? All part of it. Not bad, I guess. There's no space. It's so tiny. It's deeper than yeah, it is it's, wide. It's it's, deeper, it's all about yeah. the luxury. It's it's no, about no, the. It's deeper. It's like okay. Pizza. Yeah. I guess for like a pizza, it's like a pizza oven almost. Okay. Oh my lord. Isn't that crazy? That is pretty crazy. So what's that's like on? ultra luxury. The Barbie range, the Barbie hood. I, I like the uh, comic book backdrop as well. Exactly. Exactly. That's pretty wild. Multicolor ranges. Gotta love it. They really went for like the art deco style in the cafe booth this year. I have never seen a drawer dishwasher before. That's pretty nifty. No more bending over. All right, Elena noticed something kind of funny. These people bought a TV from one of the booths and are carrying their baby instead. <laughs> Holy smokes, that is the end of day three. We made it through, barely. <laughs> Feet are about to fall off. We are gonna go do something kind of fun tonight though, and that is the Ferris wheel attached to our hotel at the link. I have a zip line and a gigantic Ferris wheel is like 500 feet tall. 
So that should be kind of cool. We just have to decide whether we want to go while it's still light out or at I nighttime. At night. I'm going to read some reviews and see what, what, the, what the consensus is, but that should be kind of cool. And we're going to round out the trip getting some more In-N-Out Burger because why the heck not? Well, what a day. That's all I got to say. Here goes nothing. Oh boy. It's another one of these stairways to heaven. It's a moving entrance ramp. Safe to say this is the biggest Ferris wheel we've ever been on. Yeah, we are literally so. in a room right now. You probably fit 25 people in here. The size of the foundation on this thing is insane. Like these tubes are like the diameter of a school bus. As you get closer to the edge and closer to the window, it gets a little bit sketchy. That gives you some goosebumps. Well, we're not all the way up yet, though. That looks pretty wild. We are officially above the Venetian, and that is a really tall hotel. Can't quite tell on camera, but uh, yeah, some of those cars look like ants. Vegas really goes on quite a ways beyond the strip. Like, there's lights way the heck out there. There's the airport way the heck over there. Almost there. seconds away from hitting the peak. Carry it down with me. 10, 9, 8, have to kiss when we 7, get to the peak. 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one, this part. Let go. We made it. We made it. <laughs> Thank you. There's a gigantic bearing around the center of each one of those, and that is how it rotates and stays level as the wheel goes up. They were not messing around with these foundations. One of those bolts has got to be three inches in diameter. Well, we finally made it. That was quite a week and we are pretty exhausted from it to be honest so we're probably gonna need a vacation from the vacation we do think this is going to be sort of an annual thing for us because we just love going to hang out with all the people that we've met in the building space it's cool seeing all the new products too but the people are really the primary motivator it's great making those connections and hanging out with them even if it is just once a year yep it's a lot of fun and we can't wait until next year as always thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one